Hello, my name is Ho Yu and I'm a PhD student funded by the BBSRC in Mark Webber's group at the Quadrant Institute. Most bacteria exist in biofilms, aggregated communities of microorganisms encased in a self-produced matrix. And owing to various protective characteristics of the matrix, these biofilms often exhibit intrinsic resistance to many antimicrobials. As well as this um, intrinsic AMR properties, horizontal gene transfer can also contribute to the spread of high-level AMR within biofilms. However, what factors influence the rate of HTT within biofilms is unknown. For my project, I'm investigating the influence of various stress factors on, HT, on the rate of HTT within multi-species biofilms. And to do this, I first established a modern multi-species biofilm community using E. coli and Salmonella typhimerium. And then I screened a panel of bacterial isolates for plasmids carrying clinically important AMR genes that can be used to meaningfully monitor HGT under various stresses. So to do this, I um, did some DNA extractions on these panel of isolates, assembled and annotated the sequences, and then screened for various AMR and virulence genes. I visualized the location of these genes um, in the sequences and um, to identify whether the genes existed in the plasmid or within the chromosome. And then I also, if it was in a plasmid, I identified the plasmid replicon type. Once I picked a candidate plasmid, I then conjugated this into relevant species of my E. coli and Salmonella typhimerium and multi-species biofilm. And then I ca also characterized the plasmid of interest. So I manually curated a plasmid map of all the features. And I also looked at the evolutionary history of this plasmid. So the chosen plasmid candidate was found to be a type Inc. F2 plasmid carrying the clinically relevant BLAST CTXM14 gene. Um, and this was chosen for initial study as it was also shown to transfer into and between both E. coli and S. typhimerium. And this was manually curated for the fully annotated plasmid map. Further analysis of this plasmid also showed that it to be unique, although related to others previously reported from clinical isolates of E. coli. The future work on my project include optimizing the movement of this plasmid within the biofilm bead model, and then using this model to monitor the movement of this candidate plasmid between E. coli and Salmonella under various stress factors.